Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got a more of an explanation rather than showing you how to do something. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to detect like when um something else, or we'll say an instance, uh, makes contact with a part, right? So I'll be showing you guys how to do that in this video and stuff, right? And some simple ways you can use it, right? So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, let's make a part, right? We can scale it just a little bit, you feel what I'm saying? But pretty much just look like the spawn. And then we can name it. Uh, uh, actually, we, we can just leave the name, it don't even matter. But make sure it's anchored. You can insert a server script into it and call this our touch script, right? So there's multiple ways you guys can do this, right? So we're going to be using the touched function. I'll show you guys how to do that. So you want to do script.parent.touched fired when a part comes in contact with another part, right? Colon connect function in parentheses put, we're gonna put hit, right? And this is pretty much what's making contact, right? Now I do wanna clarify something because this confused me at first when I was trying to figure out the touch function and stuff. Okay, so I know some of you may be thinking like, like if you do it like this and you do print hit, like, okay, it's gonna print out the player who's touching me. Like if a player touches it. Okay, now to clarify, first things first, when a player when a player's character is touching the part, like or whatever part or whatever and stuff, it is one one of the body parts of the character, not the player, okay? Like pretty much like usually it's obviously the player's foot or leg and stuff, since that's obviously that's what you walk on and stuff, right? So it's usually the foot touching, right? So printing hit would print the body part that's touching so you would see things like right foot right leg left foot left leg things like that right and stuff now if you do hit dot parent however that would give you the character that's why it says instance it would give you the character right of said player because keep in mind the player is in the player service the character is in the workspace service right so yeah now i'll show you guys a simple way i'll show you guys actually what i mean right i'll show you guys what i mean Makes no sense just to say it and not like show you guys too. So if I click play and then we load into the game and stuff, right? Uh, okay, there we go, right? And then I don't know why this shit loads so slow. But anyway, so if I, as you guys can see, one, uh, like if you're trying to make a system where like you touch, where like you touch it one time, you want it to do something, you can't just have it like openly like touch. Like you can have to add in like a few more lines and stuff, a few more parameters and stuff. Because as you guys can see, like as I walk around on it, like it's detecting movement multiple times and stuff right but as you guys can see the thing is right foot left foot you know, root part like things of that nature right that's it that's what i meant now here if you've watched my other videos i'm pretty sure you've seen me do this before i've done this a lot of times okay so there's multiple there's multiple ways type shit that um you can detect if whether or not what's touching a part is a player because usually nine times out of ten when you're trying to detect if something is touching another thing, you usually want to see if it's, you usually want to know if it's a character or player, player's character, right? Stuff, because say, like, I don't know, like, the floor is touch the floor is clearly touching the part, right? So it would trigger it, uh, technically, right? But obviously in this case, no. But the point is, though, say if, like, you had, like, a magic attack, right? And, like, the debris from magic attack with actual parts, it would, like, set it off. Here is how you have. Is here. The here is one way how you detect if it's just the player touching you. You would do if hit the parent. If this is a if this is a player touching it, right? Then this will reference the character. Then we do find first child print. I mean, quotation marks humanoid, right? The first enter. Now, if if your game has AI, then this would obviously it would do it on this turn and stuff. So you probably would want to use a more specific method which would be a 4i comma v in pairs loop and stuff to search to cross-reference players with uh pretty much you would be you would try to search the player service to see if the character who touched name matches someone in the player service right but this usually works I mean, this usually works nine, nine times out of ten right so this pretty much will only go off if a player has if whatever is touching the part has a humanoid right now as you guys can see like if we open this is my character right we open up we have a humanoid now say you wanted it to be like i don't know like it prints like i don't know like 
I don't know, man. Like, you wanted it to be like you get money every time you like you step on it, right? It, yeah, like you get money every time you step on it. So like, say it was like a tycoon and stuff, but like instead of like you collecting the money you earn, there's a cooldown on how much money you make, and like every like let's say every five seconds and stuff. So you could do it like this, right? You could do script that parent. I mean, that's good. Right? Script dot disabled is equal to true. Wait, we'll say five seconds. The script dot disabled is equal to false, right? Now, pretty much what this will do is we can go ahead and do print hit that parent and oh sorry hit that parent and you guys will see it'll print my player's character, and not just that, you guys will also be able to see that it in a way it's account is a the balance. If you know what that means, it's kind of, it pretty much means like a cooldown on things, right? If I step on it, spider in the team, right? It's on cooldown, like, like the script is literally disabled. Now if I step again, boom, as you guys can see, spider 19 nineteen, right? Now obviously when it gets off of cooldown, it's gonna do it. Now if I just don't move at all, it shouldn't. Okay, it should, because I'm still making contact, I guess. I guess that makes sense. But anyway, yes. So that's pretty much how you would do it and stuff. Um, I guess a way, you could say, if you guys wanted a way where, like, you only wanted it to do, do something once, like, say, like, say if, like, this was, like, an item giver, right? I've made a video on this before, but say you wanted to do it where, like, you wanted to have, like, a database. Not, like, where it saves, but, like, it saves just on the server, not, like, literally saves when it leaves and stuff, right? You could have a table. So, we could do, like, local uh, players who collected is equal to, then this is how you make a table, right? And what we can do is we can do if table.find, and we can do players who collected, then the needle, we could say, we'll use the player's name, hit that parent, that name, right? If if table.find, then we'll say print player collected already, right? Else print player has not collected. Then we will add their name table dot insert. We do table dot insert, and we will say players who collected comma. Then the value of hit that parent that name. So first thing first, it searches to see if they are a uh, character or a player, I should say. Then it checks if they're already if the name is in the table, right? So boom, player has not collected. Then now all it's gonna say is player collected already, right? That's the, like it's gonna say the same thing. Because my name is inside the table. Obviously, you guys won't see the, see the change on here. But yeah. Uh, this video was longer than I expected it to be. But I kind of wanted to go more in depth and stuff for anyone who was interested in some of the stuff. If they were interested in using these type of ways. So I hope this video was informational and helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys.